You know, obviously Tiffany's been through so much. We wanted to get her some answers, so we sent her to Dr. Batra. Tiffany, I'd love to take a look so I can examine you and put all the pieces together. So does this itch when these spots come up? It itches. I don't see any active boils back here, which is great. Any of these scars on your face bother you? They end up hurting to get full. How often do you think that these spots will actually drain out? Two to three times a day. Two to three times a day. Does this scar hurt? No. And you had this one done first? Yes. Okay. Sometimes when you have that ongoing inflammation inside a scar, we inject a medicine called cortisone and then kind of fill it up with medicine so it's going to feel a little more full for a day or two. But then what that usually does is it collapses it down so it doesn't drain as much. I would love to try that. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. You can see it's a little bit more full and it's a little pale. Then the hope is that it should clamp down quite a lot. I really think you have a collection of things that happen all at once. I hope we can move forward and really plan an excellent treatment plan. We'll talk soon. So, Doc, what, what can you tell us? What you have is something called follicular occlusion, and it comes as a triad of different conditions. And what that means is the follicle is sort of the outflow tract of your skin. On your face, you have oil glands or sebaceous glands, and all the oil comes out there. You have a form of follicular occlusion that's incredibly severe called acne conglobata. And it's not just your garden variety acne. It's an acne that can be filled with cysts. It drains, like you mentioned, and the scarring is particularly severe from that. So that was the part that you weren't getting that didn't make sense when you would read about the hydradenitis, and it didn't really describe what was going on with Tiffany. Then there's a second part to that that is the hydradenitis separativa, and that's from the, oil, the very specialized sweat glands that occur under the arms and in the groin. They're called apocrine glands. And then they also become incredibly inflamed and painful and drain, and they form these cysts and sinus tracts. And that's why the surgeries were done under the arms were actually to remove those glands and graft the area. And then the third part, sometimes we can see on the scalp you don't have, but you do actually have, as you mentioned, on your bottom that makes it so painful, the pilonidal sinus too, which is actually part of this whole collection of conditions. And one thing that really fuels all of these conditions where these follicles get clogged is actually having too high a level of hormones that are called androgens. And those are kind of classically the male hormones. But um, in your case, it turns out you actually uh, fit all the criteria for something called polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is where the male hor androgen hormones dominate. And so I think that's why you had <coughs> such a perfect storm where this all started so young, right at puberty at 11. It's really gotten worse and worse over the years. And the only thing that thus far has provided you relief was cutting out those glands. But I think it makes a lot more sense when you fit everything going on together because it allows us to, to approach it and to treat it from different angles. You've seen the best of the best and now we know what we're dealing with. And so right now, I wanna to start to see some smiles from you because there is hope, okay? And that's what we're gonna talk about now. You have tremendous hope because there are much newer anti-inflammatory therapies that really target all of this. We talked a little bit about injectable medicines that target a chemical in the blood called TNF-alpha that actually causes inflammation in all of these follicular occlusion syndromes. We talked about really getting the hormones well regulated so they're not fueling this process and that would really require ongoing help with an endocrine or hormone specialist. And I think in combination, if we also were able to manage your pain, you'd be so much more comfortable and then you'd be able to take these meds and kind of stick with it. So I think if we, if we work within the scheme of dermatology, we try to get the inflammation under control, once we have that done, we can then address the scars because we have lasers, we have injections like we talked about. We have a lot of ways to work on the physical appearance, but then getting your body in balance and regulating these other aspects like the pain and the hormones is going to be so key.